What do you think, Jax? You know what? This old house we're in now, we need to go home today. What? Storm, you want to say something? You want to say something to Mr. Storms? The joys of packing up. Been here three months. Certainly have a lot of stuff for three months, but we had to make it home. So today we leave. Hallelujah. At long last, here it is. We are in the house. It is Tuesday, the 24th. I had yesterday off to help move or to move. I took today off because I'm utterly spent and sore. This is not nearly as fun as I expected it to be, nor as satisfying. Moving stuff back was fine, a couple hours. But nothing's right. Um, a lot of things aren't right. We have no water pressure on the cold water side of our kitchen sink. Uh, I just moved the hot tub onto the patio or had them on, filled it up, and it's broken. We don't have a boiler, so it was 33 last night, so we've got the fireplace cranking. But I think the thing we weren't expecting most Half of our stuff is somewhere else. And the other half of the stuff was split equally between this house, boxed up, or in the house we were at for three months, which is being unboxed. But we have no place to put the stuff we're unboxing. So it's like we're living out of a big suitcase right now. But we have to go to work and we have to do all this stuff. So none of it is, uh, it's just very stressful. So that is all to say that this is not as an enjoyable process as I expected. I could do this every, I could do chores every day for a month and I don't feel like I would catch up. Groceries, laundry, cleaning, shelving, storage, unboxing, busted spas, busted water. I expect we are now going to lose some of our subscribers because the house isn't going through massive renovation and many of you logged in to see the coolness of a house being lifted and then dropped back down and that's okay. Thank you for coming along, I appreciate your attention. We start transitioning a little bit into getting this place back together and I'll then right into woodworking. And that's when I'm hoping we really take off once I get into rewiring the shop and bringing the tools back. That might be a slow process. I'm gonna still generate weekly videos. Hopefully people are interested. Feel free to chime in. But this is an inglorious part of the process. Um, it's, it's a lot. And I don't think we've realized that when we got back into our house, it wouldn't feel like our house yet doesn't it doesn't feel like our house it's weird all right thanks for watching i don't know how much this i'll use probably some of it because this guy's adorable and i'll talk to you later behind me is the recently hydro seated lawn did a pretty good job with it i don't know if it's going to take we have a frost in about a week and I don't know a lot about grass seed but I'm thinking that's probably too soon but I appreciate them trying and if it doesn't take hopefully they'll come back and do it again in the spring and it seems like they will on my right is the next in the list of things that did not work the hot tub was put on the new patio 
I filled it, I plugged it in, and it shorted. Something's wrong with it. In the attempt to fix it, I accidentally broke one of the 25-year-old plastic fittings, which is dripping behind me on the ground, one drip at a time for 330 gallons. I drain it, but if I drain it, I'm going to ruin the hydro seat. So I'm just letting it run. I have a service call into it. Uh, the last couple of fixes I did myself, but at this point, I'm just going to have them come out and, and fix it. Hopefully, it should be good. Hopefully, it's repairable. It's an old spa, but there's still a lot of parts in the used market. So, there you go. On to the next one. What? Did this thing? Alright, we moved in five days ago. Five days ago, we've got very little cold water coming out of this tap. Three days ago, we figured out we had a ton of ironstone clogging all the filters. And I've been working all week to try to get this thing clear. I tried putting some uh, acid, some CLR down it, tried flushing it in a whole bunch of different ways. Finally decided to take the whole thing out and uh, success. Uh, this will be too small for that video camera. So, let's see if I can get a close up of what I dug out of here. Piece of quartz. Probably four millimeters in diameter. Jammed right into the cold water feed. Big enough to go in sideways, get turned around, and get stuck. I imagine that's going to do it. So, this is what it's been all week long problems, just chasing problems. But, I think I got this one fixed. Alright. Let's see if this bad boy worked. Hot water flow. Now, if we fixed it, our floor doesn't drop in half when we go to cold. Woo! Ah, oh, finally. Alright, this is the great Sill project of 2023. The rim joist needs to be air sealed, and then after it's air sealed, it needs to be insulated. We air seal it so we're not bringing in dust, moisture, and bugs, and so we're not fighting insulation. Then we insulate it in order to keep the um, the hot side hot and the cool side it's cool. It's like a McDLT for a basement. So it's going to be air sealed with uh, Tap Down Flex 230. Then it's going to be two inches of Rigid EPS or XPS, I haven't decided yet. After I do that, my basement's pretty well buttoned up. And uh, we'll get that heater in, right behind me actually, and see if this thing holds the heat like it's supposed to. Target goal, 65 to 70 degrees. Hold that temperature for two to three days. That'll allow me to properly cure two-part epoxy. And, uh, and then I can do my river tables and my bowl blanks and my resin hybrid bowl blanks and my cherry burl bowl blanks. Right now it's hard because uh, I don't get the temperature. It's like right now it's, it's 70 outside but it's still 60 in the basement. Alright, so like I said, this boring to you? Skip forward. If it's not boring to you? Enjoy. A few years ago when we had solar put in, they put some spray foam up in there. Pretty poor job of it too, so it's not doing much. 80% of the area is uh, covered, 20% is not. His aim was bad, so sometimes it's just running next to the seam and not on the seam. So what I need to do is uh, scrape all that out.
Netflix 2.30. It's like a toy, but not exactly a toy. Still though, should be pretty cool.